and thank you very much for tuning in to my channel. Today I am not covering original material. I am looking at trying to play audio files through an Arduino that I program. So I searched for a YouTube video which would do just that. Now, I understand there are tutorials on how to play sound with an Arduino which require an SD card and thankfully this is a video tutorial that teaches how to play audio or sound without an SD card. So I am going to try and replicate what is discussed in this video and I will leave the link for this video as the very first link in the description below for my video. Now the way this video begins is a tutorial on how to hook up electronic components to the Arduino board uh, for the sake of amplifying and uh, sending an audio signal through a speaker. So this gentleman is talking about using a TPI transistor, what does he call it? TIP120. I haven't researched as to whether that is PNP or NPN. I guess I'd have to stop and think that one through. No matter, I actually don't have an intention of amplifying the audio signal. I have amplifier circuits I already have assembled at home. So my interest is really just to get some audio playing out of the Arduino. So I'm not so concerned about trying to replicate this transistor to speaker circuit. Now as this video is explaining itself, as the gentleman is describing it, He's going under the assumption that you've already downloaded this PCM zip and encoder software. I have actually since downloaded that. He's provided two links as to where to get that file. He's provided this Google one and this GitHub one. I actually chose this one, this GitHub. So it brought me here. Of course, do this at your own risk, you know, downloading files off the internet. But um, this is 645k. I guess this is the contributor. Here is the download. Oops. Here is the download link. I just clicked on that. It automatically saved it to my download folder. So, suffice to say, this. PCM.zip and encoder software is already on my PC. The first step he recommends is opening up the Arduino IDE and going to Sketch and then Include Library. So I will do that myself. Okay, so I just opened up the Arduino IDE. Forgive me because I cut off the top a little bit. You've got the menu bar. I suppose that's important. Hold on. All right, so it was sketch and then include library, add zip library. Again, sketch, include library, add dot zip library. Personally, I had to go to my PC and then look in the downloads folder 
I can see here it is Arduino MP3 dot zip and I get an error message that says the library Arduino MP3 cannot be used library names must contain only basic letters and numbers I think I know why because I just tried to open up the folder and not the actual file okay well I think my issue is this I've got the downloads this new Arduino mp3.zip folder I have to go into the folder go into this folder and there's the pcm.zip so I think I'll just add this onto my desktop which means I'll just click and drag to my desktop you can't see it because the screen recorder doesn't copy well it's on my desktop now okay so once again trying this from the beginning going to sketch include library add zip library here we are here's the pcm.zip file I'll just try clicking on it see what happens library added to your libraries check include library menu so let's try it tools include library oh goodness what were we even looking for to begin with one second include library and here's the contributed libraries which is the PCM one I suppose I didn't notice right away but looks like it put it right at the top of my sketch hashtag include pcm.h so I suppose this is successful sorry if I'm going through this too slow but the next instructions were to go f to file examples and then oopsie file examples if I scroll down it has examples from custom libraries PCM playback okay this is exactly what he had on his screen just expand this so here is what he has now I haven't fully understood this but I suppose this is some kind of audio file and I think it's just one that's included with this sketch from the github website and I suppose it's in Italian language now the next step in the instructions was to upload it to the Arduino I am actually using an Arduino Pro Mini if you watch a previous video I made that's what I'm up to these days so anyway upload it hopefully it works I spared you the time it took to upload that it took a little while but it says done uploading my next step is to go grab an amplifier circuit and test whether this actually successfully uploaded onto my Arduino Pro Mini okay so hopefully if I've assembled my video correctly you just heard that I successfully played mp3 audio through the Arduino and I amplified it on an LM386 op amp 
and it just played this sample audio file which was included in the sketch. Now my next attempt is to replace this audio with a sound clip of my own voice. Good afternoon. How are you? Okay, so I think I'm happy with this. Take a listen. Hello, how are you? How are you doing? So the instructions in that video was to make the audio 16-bit, 8 kilohertz audio. Although, I think I might have to make it 16 kilohertz. You see, when I uploaded the sketch originally, it had pre-selected the processor as the 8 megahertz, and then when I played the audio, it played it twice as fast. Now that would take some thinking through as to why that's happening, so I just switched it to the 16 megahertz, and then re-uploaded it onto the Arduino, and then it seemed to play the audio at the correct speed. So the oscillator on the particular Arduino board, in my case the Pro Mini, well that makes a difference. He's saying kilohertz, but I think he might mean uh, megahertz. And, and when I say he, I mean this uh, electronics guru video that I've been watching and following and trying to replicate. Then he was saying, once I have this recorded, I click on this here and I go to format and then 16-bit PCM and well I guess he's talking about audio sample rate so I could have been wrong with what I just said I could be incorrect but then he's saying that uh, the project rate for this audio file needs to be chosen for 8000 Hertz then he said I need to go to export export as mp3 and personally I have chosen to save this audio file to my desktop I called it me talking I'm going to save and probably just hit OK so I'll give it a test run hello how are you how are you doing Okay, I think I opening up this audio encoder file became a little bit complicated and unfortunately I can't go through all the steps that I just went through, but I'm going to download that. Okay, now I open up the encode audio software I guess extract all alright so if you go to the encode audio dot exe and then select the recording this message message should come up audio data copied to clipboard Next, I was supposed to copy all of this. Okay, this is going to take a while. One second. Okay, so I copied all of that. And I guess I delete it. I just paste my own over top. I pasted my own over top. I guess that copy to clipboard was like a copy and paste function. Okay, so once I pasted that in, which was the clipboard, and I pasted my own encoded audio in, I hit upload. It took a little while for that to upload to my Arduino, and I have since tested it, so I'll have to go to my camera phone to show you the clip of that. So I'll end this one.
just so I get the sound.